Hi, my name is Eli Bolin. I'm a songwriter, and this is a New York Minute. Apple pie or pumpkin pie? I'm more of an apple crisp kind of fella. Well, as far as some of my influences go, uh, well, theatrically, I'm a really big fan of, of William Finn's work. It was sort of, it was a production of Falsettos I saw my freshman year that really made me feel like I, I could have something to contribute to the theater as a, as a composer and a songwriter. I first got into writing theater music because uh, it's kind of a meeting of two different things. I had always been into music uh, sort of as, as a hobby. Uh, we had instruments at home, a piano and a guitar, and I always loved theater and acting. Um, but it didn't really occur to me until I got into college uh, to try writing songs for theater. And, well, I also love, of course, the work of Stephen Sondheim, and you can't go wrong there. And I just sort of dipped my toe in and realized, hey, you know, I, I really like doing this. This is really fulfilling. It, it got to be very addictive very quickly. And, of course, the classics. You know, you got the Gershwins and your Rogers and Hart and such. Right now, I'm working on a couple different shows. I'm working on a show called Volley Girls with uh, Sam Foreman and Rob Ackerman about a high school girls volleyball team in Ohio and their trials and tribulations. No, I've, I've never been to the Tonys, not even as a seat filler. I will only go the year that I win! And well, as far as, as other songwriters, uh, composers I really admire, definitely, you know, there's the Beatles and Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, your Stevie Wonder, your Harry Nielsen. I'm also writing a musical called Found. Uh, with the Story Pirates and Hunter Bell, who wrote Title Show, who's writing the book, uh, which is based on Found Magazine, uh, which is a magazine that publishes found objects, letters, notes, photographs, things like that. And then, this, of course, some of the great ladies, like uh, Miss Joni Mitchell and uh, Miss Esra Mohawk and Laura Nero. Cats. Definitely cats. They don't ask for much. If I could take one cast album with me to a desert island, um, I would probably have to say the original cast of Gordon and Pippin. And, oh, and there's, don't forget your Todd Rundgren in there, too. He's very important. Mm-hmm. Ah! Thanks for watching. This has been a New York Minute.